right here on Fairfax and Wiltshire, right next to the Peterson Museum and the Oscar Museum, is this old 99 cent store. It's a pretty big one. There's a sign up there. They actually closed the door on this side. You gotta walk in to the other side. Yeah, they are gonna close those. 99 cent stores all over. Welcome to my channel. Once again, I'm right here at the Fairfax district. And if you happen to see my video a couple of days ago from Beverly Hills where Deo Drive, all the stores they closed around that area. Well, I got some more bad news today. It's actually raining right here in Southern California. It looks like it's hail actually, but that's not the bad news. As of today, they're going to start closing 371 99 cent stores in four different states. Arizona, Nevada, California, and Texas. It's unbelievable. I've done a video three months ago about the 99 cent store that closed down in Venice Beach. And I couldn't believe it. There's a lot of good memories here at the 99 cent store. So it's pretty bad news. And it feels like that my channel is now a news channel. Last couple of videos, I showed you a lot of stuff that's going on here in California, but I'm doing this video because I have lots of friends in Germany and they don't really know what's going on. If you live around here, you already know that they're going to close down the stores. But uh, if you live somewhere else, that video is for you. Look, there's an Oscar right there, another one right there. Since I'm here already, so I might give you an update on the trash house right there on Meros. So I'm going to show you how it looks now after they clean it up. So stay till the end of the video. The line is unbelievable. And people buying and buying. I don't even know why. Because the price is still the same. <laughs> Some lady said she was waiting 45 minutes in line to actually check out. The line is right here. Wow, I never seen a 99 cent store <laughs> that busy. What's up, man? All right, thank you. <laughs> so apparently you get an extra 30% off of whatever you're gonna buy in the store here. The line is crazy. Wow, they bought, <laughs> they bought all those cup noodles. Look at this, whatever you need, 30% off. Wow, this is gonna be gone pretty fast here. You can never have enough water. You can get all the salad, fruit, whatever you need, everything. Even the Easter bunny is for sale. You need some ramen noodles. 49 lowest price guarantee the CEO of the company tried to save it but he said the problem was too big it started after the pandemic that everything went down the hill inflation then a lot of people stealing stuff if like 20 people steal something every day in a month that's a lot of stuff getting stolen and some other problems they had but they're closing down all the 99 cent store. Unbelievable. Looks like the shelves are getting emptied pretty quick. It reminds me actually right before the pandemic when they bought everything and all the shelves were empty. The water is almost sold out here. $2.99 for sandals, all gone. Hola compadre, como estas? Vamos a la playa. You don't have to go to Mexico if you want to do a fiesta at your house. They got everything right here. Remember when they were selling the rubbing alcohol for $7 before the pandemic? Now they got plenty of rubbing alcohol here. I remember all those two liter bottles used to be 99 cents. Now they're 249 dollars
If you wanna pump up your muscle, come down to the 99 cent store and get the protein. The protein powder is good for you. Pumps up your muscles. This is fantastic. The sad thing is that a lot of people are gonna miss this place because they are low income and they depend on a place like this where they can get better deals than other stores. They can stretch the dollar bill right here. They get a lot of stuff that's still a good price compared to other stores. And where can all those people go now since they're closing down the 99 cent store? They're gonna be hurting pretty big, I think. The news spread pretty fast. People are buying like crazy, 30% off. Like I said in my other video I done three months ago when the 99 cent store closed. When I first came to America, this was the place to go. You could get a, like a can of tuna for 50 cents, two for a dollar. And I was actually eating tuna fish every single day, working out twice a day, eating tuna fish, getting the rice here. So you could survive with like a few dollars a day, but now it seems like they're selling all stuff like 2 dollars 3 dollars 4 dollars And I thought that the 99 cent store is still gonna survive because now they're charging other stuff for way more. It's like, it's like a regular convenience store now, not only 99 cents. So hearing that they're gonna close down anyway, pretty sad. Once it was only two for 99, one for 99, but now they got stuff for 12.99, 4.99, 2.99, 7.99. It's like a Toys R Us here. I mean, how can you go wrong with a healthy grain bread for only 99 cents? And you put some mustard on there, some pickles with some ketchup, and there's your dinner right there. Hard to believe that they can't survive anymore, even though some of the prices are way more expensive. Three for five ninety-nine, Doritos snacks mini. I remember when I went with my mom and my dad to Hawaii to the Dole Plantation. How much is a pineapple like this? Well, in Hawaii, even though it comes from Hawaii, they were selling it for $9. And here, they're selling the pineapple for $2.99.99. $0.55.99. Cents. What kind of price is that for bananas? When I did the video the last time, I didn't realize it says $0.99 cents only store, but they had to change it. Then it says $0.99 cents store, or ending 99. They had to change the name though, but this is an old sign, I think. Mom, I'm getting you those flowers here. They're not real, but they look all right. You never have to give them water. The cactus is real though, for 4 99 So since they closing down, maybe the Dollar Tree, which is not a dollar anymore either, it's a dollar 25, I think now, Maybe they doing better since all the 99 cent store closed down. I actually want to get some stuff, but no, I rather pay a little bit more, not standing in the line here. This is still a really good price here. 129 for a whole table. Even this here, how can you make this for a dollar 29 or 25? Wow. I don't know. There's a bird that really fits in here, but you cannot make that for $1.29. You know how many times I bought something for 99 cents? I didn't really need it, but I thought it was cool. Just like this pen right here. It's a pretty cool pen for only 99 cents. So you ended up spending way more money than you actually wanted because there's so much stuff you can buy that one day you might want to use. Back in the day, I would have loved to have something like this throw on the beach with your friends. Two nine nine. So today I'm talking to Valerie right here and you heard the news that they're gonna close down the store. What is your my thought son about called, it? Yeah, my son called me and he said, mom, you gotta get to 99, they're closing. I said, no, this is a TikTok prank, I know. No. But I've been, I'm devastated. This is my favorite store, I love this store. Um, in fact, when the one opened, the 99 opened on Sunset, I stood in line for hours to get the free TV they were giving away for the first like 100 customers or something. When was that, a long that time ago? That was years ago, yeah. Years ago. I love the 99. So I'm here collecting what I can collect 
I'm, I've just wow. started, so yeah, I just started, but. <laughs> and uh, you said there's 30% off on everything, is that what they say That's now? That's what they said, yeah, so I, I wanted to get here before it got all picked over, so I, I wanted to come today, the first day it started, so. Nice. We'll yeah, but I'm so upset. And you live around this area right here? I can here? walk to the 99 from where I am. Yeah, yeah so, so I heard no they're more. all going to close them down. All the 371 stores. Yes. So it's not only in the area right here, everywhere, right? No, it's. I think it's in tri three states, tri-state. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to close down. So very sad. I'll be interested to see what they put here because it's a big piece of property. Yeah. So, but I wonder too. I see that right next door they tear down the place already. So I'm thinking maybe because they want to build a high rise here or something. I don't know. Uh, another, home, another housing project, right? And because of my channel, she was watching my channel, so she started talking to me. And I always open to talk to people and what they think about. So thank you very yes, much for talking to me. Right away. All right, thank even you. even my voice, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Well, thanks for talking to me, and uh, good luck. Thank you. All bye right. bye, ninety nine. Bye bye. It doesn't get any more California like this. Zipping your margarita, all like a palm tree right here. What did you say? Bonnies everywhere. Maybe I should get those sunglasses and regular reading glasses when I'm editing my videos on my phone all the time. Sometimes my eyes burn, so maybe I should get those. For only $4.99. I don't get it. $4.99.99. I mean, that's like 0 0.001 penny. Huh? You can get some new eyelashes for $129. whole card is full here. I like to clean stuff right there. More water here. Never seen a big toothbrush like this, but that will work. They got the eggs for $5.49. The gallon of milk for $3.99. Man. It's actually low fat. I haven't had chocolate milk for a while. That would have been nice right now. Deal drops. Grab these limited time deals now. Chicken tenders. $5.99. Shrimps. For $4.99. Pizza for $1.19. Can't beat that. Classic corn dogs. They also announced today that they closed 18 Subway stores because they can't afford paying those uh, workers $20 an hour because they got a race right now. And it's not working out for the stores anymore. So 18 stores are closed. I remember when I got a foot long, a foot long for $4.99. I remember Louis and me, we always got it when it was, they had a store in Venice. And now I was there not too long ago, they were selling it for $14.99 with a drink. So also way more expensive, but they're gonna close down. If you eat at McDonald's, super expensive too. So everything is going up in the price. I don't know where this is going, but it doesn't look good though. Well, I think that was it here from the 99 cent store. I just wanted to give you the news that they're gonna close down everything. And one more time, I wanted to walk around because it's like I said before, good memories. I'm glad I don't have to buy at the 99 cent store anymore that I can buy at Ralph's or other places that I don't have to look at the price anymore like I did when I first came here. I used to buy a lot of those every week because I needed them when I set up my stand for the wind not to blow stuff away, I taped everything. So it's like easy, I bought 10 of them all the time. There's actually another 99 cent store right around the corner and I'm gonna check that one out as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's even no way to get out of here. Look at all that stuff people returned or just leave on the counter here. You can buy a pinata. Happy birthday, pinata.
Well, the 99 cent store used to have more fun for your buck. Sorry to hear that you guys are closing. I wear my sunglasses at night, green ones. And as you can see, this is actually a really big property here. They can build one of those high rises right here in the parking lot and where the store is. The other 99 cents that was here, this is the little smaller one. But LA has quite some 99 cent stores. Wow, this one is pretty busy too here. Looks like there's not that many people in this one because this one is way smaller. Most people go to the big one, but they give you the same deal in the little one here. Well, at least I can get myself a drink and I don't have to wait in line that long. Bye bye, 99 cent store. I remember at one time there were 25 cents for one of those. And now they're like 79. Yeah, this place is still full with all the stuff. No empty shelves yet here. I told you I'd be back checking out the trash house. Do you remember how it looked like before with all the trash right here? Let me insert a clip here. This was the front yard two days ago. Unbelievable, huh? It's hard to believe, but they removed seven tons of trash. Way more work to do. I see they left that motorcycle there. The car is back here and it's still for sale. My friend actually said this is a rare car. So he has this car and he has like three other cars in the backyard. So he must have some money, I think. But look, they cleaned up this area pretty good. But they did not really move all the stuff over here. So hopefully it's not gonna be like it was before. He cleaned up before and then it, the same thing happened again that all the stuff is in the front yard. I mean, this still looks pretty bad right here. And I forgot to mention the other day that those houses, they cost about $3 million those right here three million dollars and somebody said this house here is worth 1.5 million maybe it's worth more because of the property but i wonder how it looks inside yeah this is the update from the trash house still a lot of trash here and it still kind of smells like trash in my video, I said that he doesn't probably live here. I can just tell you what people tell me. I don't know if it's the truth or not. Now other people told me, yeah, he lives here. He walks in here at night. Another neighbor told me he lives somewhere else. His sister lives down the way. So I don't really know. And I think that is his property. Also, somebody told me he's renting. You never know. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. And since I'm here already, I'm gonna walk up and down a little bit on Melrose. We'll see what's going on over here. And of course, we're in Hollywood. They're filming a music video right there. Look at this. Yay! Yay! Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from the Fairfax district. And the sun is back out. It's a little windy, but the sun is out. So if you happen to like this video, maybe you want to give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to the German in Venice. Maybe I should have waited a couple more weeks to see how the stores are all look empty, but maybe I do another one. I just wanted to give you the news right now. So see you guys later. Just saying.